since we just got our footings dug. Let's see if we got an 18 by 18 footing all the way around. The braid beam. There it is, so hopefully we get a break in some rain and get some forms set. We just passed our city inspection. We also yesterday had a specialty inspector out for the hold downs. He also wrote a report on all the rebar, so we passed both. Just make sure to check your project documents um, and look for any specialty inspections. Sometimes they will be on um, your permit, so the city catches it or they require it, then they might ask for specialty inspections. Um, and then Oftentimes the city doesn't put them on there, but they will be on your blueprints. And so if you ever get called on that and you don't have those reports and you've already covered something up, it might be a little bit difficult to get your final sign off. So just be aware of that. Um, it starts at the foundation level so that you can get your um, hold down inspection or whatever specialty inspection your engineer calls out. And then There'll be other ones for your framing, structural lumber, and things like that. So just be aware of that so that you make sure you uh, cross your T's and dot your I's. When you're getting your final, you have all your documentation uh, for the inspections. So we just passed our foundation inspection on our Sherman Heights project. It's a double ADU. So I'm going to go ahead and spin this around. I'll show you the foundation and point out some of the details structural mainly and electrical so that you can get an idea as a homeowner or as a contractor uh, how you can do these and this is for San Diego California so let me just turn the camera around real quick okay so you can see we've got a pretty deep foundation here uh, we're looking for a minimum of 18 by 18 then we got to be out of the uh, final grade by at least eight inches so that's why the majority of our foundation is between 24 and 30 inches from the top of the form. I'm going down. Now the structural engineer on this called out number five rebar for the footings, top and bottom. Uh, and then a 16 by 16 grid, number four on the top. down bars and everything every 16 inches as well so they're dropping down into the foundation um, number four bars over here we've got our view for ground right here it's coming up and that's required by electrical code now so at least 20 feet of half inch at least half inch rebar you can also use copper it's still got to be 20 feet and you can see we got some different hold down sizes so these are 7 8 inch um, we've got some HD 5 some HD 4s HD 2s which are your your babies right there that, that little guy right here hooking down every single hold down has its own length as well as size so you can see these HD 11s uh, they got a 1 inch by 30 Simpson anchor there so these are all number five shear walls on the front here. And then let's go walk over to our plumbing walls here. So pretty simple plumbing on this one because everything's on one side. So we got a shower vent. There's our shower drain here. Toilet vent. We've got our clean out right here. So this is the end of the line. 
then this is our our toilet for the downstairs. The toilet for the upstairs is actually over here, so that's why we have that vent, that three inch vent there. This is our vanity sink, washer dryer, vent and drain, and then here's our kitchen. Um, notice also we get everything wrapped in foam. We like to thicken up the foam around the drains and the toilet so that if there's any adjustments made by the plumber, some people put boxes over the whole thing so that they can play with it, but we get them pretty close and then we just use that foam so that we've got some play. Um, we use 10 mil plastic for the moisture barrier. Um, you can go 15. Some people use six or below, but if you check your print, you're gonna see what's required. And then we got sand uh, top and bottom. So some of these areas here, I mean, they're basically almost solid concrete just because you can't dig these things perfectly uh, without losing some corners and things like that. So you end up with quite a bit of concrete, but we try and keep it pretty clean when we do the dig. And that way we can tie our steel and everything without having cave ends and, and a lot of dirt falling it back in on it. All right, this is the final foundation all stripped. So again, we got our plumbing here. We got a vent in the wall for the showers, bottom and top floor. That's the drain and vent for the upstairs toilet. Our clean out right here. It's the end of the line where they can snake it if they need. This is our downstairs toilet and this is the foam that was, those that I was talking about with the wrapping the foam extra thick so you basically got about three quarters to an inch all the way around you can move it that's our vent for that toilet and the vanity also the drain this is the washer and dryer that little closet and then there's our kitchen there you go